from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Monday, March 23rd, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. One person was flown to a local trauma center following a crash on Hudson Drive in Packer Township. The road was shut down at the bottom of the mountain near Spring Mountain Road just outside of Beaver Meadows. A medical helicopter from Lehigh Valley was called into the park by Lake Irena. One person was transported by Weatherly Ambulance to the landing zone in Beaver Meadows. Fire crews from Weatherly and Hazel Township assisted state police out of Hazelton at the crash scene. No word how the crash happened or the extent of the injuries of that person. This area has had its fair share of bad crashes in the last few years. Residents in the area have asked to drop the speed limit on the mountain in Packer Township. A Freeland woman was found dead inside her car on Saturday night in Jim Thorpe. According to police, the circumstances surrounding the death of 24-year-old Chelsea Michaleski are under investigation. The cause of her death is pending a forensic autopsy. She was found in the vehicle in the parking lot of Designs Floral and Gifts in Jim Thorpe around 11.30 p.m. The victim was a firefighter with the Harwood Fire Company and an EMT with the Freeland Northside Ambulance. Carbon County Coroner's Office, Jim Thorpe Police, and the Carbon County District Attorney's Office are still investigating. Three people were arrested by Butler Township Police and the Hazleton Police Narcotics Unit after two separate undercover drug operations Thursday afternoon. According to Butler Township Police, narcotic units confiscated 374 packets of heroin, crack cocaine, and more than $1,900. The first operation took place near the intersection of Clinton Court and 3rd Streets around 1 p.m., where police witnessed 21-year-old Chris Cabrera, also known as Snowman, conduct a drug and transaction. Officers found 154 packets of heroin, 12 bags of crack cocaine, packaging material, and more than $1,000 cash inside Cabrera's room in Hazleton. Cabrera was arrested and charged with two counts of possession with intent to deliver and two counts of possession of a controlled substance. He is now behind bars at the Luzerne County Prison for lieu of $50,000 bail. The second undercover operation took place at the intersection of North Locust and 3rd Streets in Hazleton around 5 p.m. when officers arrested 24 year old Passion Tiari Flores of Hazleton. Her passenger, 22-year-old Anthony Morales of Brooklyn, New York, was also arrested. Flores was charged with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance, possession of a controlled substance, and Morales was charged with a misdemeanor. Both Flores and Morales were arraigned and are behind bars in Luzerne County Prison in lieu of $50,000 bail. A Shenandoah man is behind bars tonight after he was charged with raping a 12-year-old girl and allegedly getting her pregnant. 33-year-old Hector Rico was charged with rape of a child, aggravated indecent assault of a child, sexual assault, indecent assault, among similar charges. The charges come after the mother of a 12-year-old girl went to police stating that Rico and the girl were having sex for a few months. Shenandoah Police Captain Michael O'Neill was on the way to interview the girl when he came upon a traffic stop in East Union Township. There, several people were taken into custody and Rico was taken to the hospital for treatment. Later, Rico was interviewed at the police station and told police that he did have sex with the teen for about six months and told her not to tell anyone. The girl told police that, on, that she did not get her period and that when Rico started calling places asking about an abortion. Rico was arraigned and committed to the Schuylkill County Prison, unable to post $250,000 straight cash bail. Mahanoy City Police charged a 19-year-old man with a home invasion and robbery on Saturday. Daniel Lance Lopez was arrested and charged with felony offenses of burglary, criminal trespass and robbery, as well as misdemeanors of making terroristic threats, simple assault, theft by unlawful taking and receiving stolen property. According to police, Lopez kicked open the front door of 138 East Mahanoy Avenue, knocking it off its hinges. Lopez then allegedly struck the man inside the home several times in the face and his left arm. Lopez was arraigned by Magisterial District Judge David Plachko and committed to the Luzerne County Prison, unable to post $50,000 straight cash bail. 
Suspended Coughlin High School Dean of Students Stephen Stahl walked out of the Luzerne County Courthouse in handcuffs after being sentenced to 6 to 23 months in prison. 48-year-old Stahl was convicted in January for having sexual relations with a 16-year-old student when he was the 37-year-old teacher at the time. Stahl testified at his trial stating that he was innocent of the crime. However, the victim in the case said he treated her like his girlfriend and bought her gifts during their 18-month-long relationship. He has been an employee of the district since 1995 and promoted to Dean of Students last January. He has been suspended without pay since February of 2014. The district is currently working on firing stall. A recall tonight from Giant and Martin's food stores due to potential salmonella contamination. Select Aurora and Giant and Martin's brand walnut and trail mix blend products are being pulled from the shelves. Those specific products that are being recalled are up on your screen now. Currently, there have been no reports of illnesses. Salmonella infections can be life-threatening, especially to those with weak immune systems, such as infants and the elderly. Customers who have purchased these products are asked to throw away any unused portions and bring their purchase receipt to a Giant or Martins for a full refund. WYLN is proud to announce that we have scheduled two live Hazleton mayoral debates. We here at WYLN have taken the lead to bring you the most information possible when it comes to the 2015 May primary election. Republican incumbent Mayor Joe Yanuzzi faces off against Hazleton City Councilman Jeff Cassatt during the Republican mayoral debate airing live at 7 to 8 p.m. Monday, April 27th. Then Democrat Hazleton City Councilman Jack Mundy faces off against Grace Cuzo during the Democrat mayoral debate airing live 7 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, April 29th. Both debates will rebroadcast several times here on WYLN. A post-debate analysis show will air live at 8 p.m. on April 27th and April 29th. WYLN's Tiffany Cloud will moderate the debates and candidates will be asked questions by WYLN's lead reporter Gary Perna along with other members of the media. Again, the debates are set for Monday, April 27th and April 29th at 7 p.m. here and only here on WYLN. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is in the Weather Center. Joe, it finally looks like spring. However, the temperatures are still low. What can we expect weather-wise over the next couple of days as we begin our work week? Yeah, those temperatures are fairly low across our area, but now is the time of year when that sun angle and the sun is getting very, very strong. So despite those cooler temperatures, still doesn't feel too bad when you walk outside. Over the past uh, hour or so, here's a look at our traffic cameras. And for the most part, things looking pretty good out there on the highways. No problems to talk about. Some precipitation, some snow from Indiana out through Ohio. I'll let you know if any of that precipitation will be impacting our area. Temperature-wise right now, 29 in New Angola, 38 in Berwick, 38 in Bloomsburg, and 38 degrees in Danville. The complete seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, details on a large check to the United Way of Greater Hazleton to the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with another look at our forecast. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bozinski, weather with Joe Garbacic, and sports with Eric DeBerardinas and Gabriella Justin. Your home should be filled with the ingredients that most inspire you. And let relaxed sophistication fill the air and the walls around it. Find beautiful cabinetry finishes and details that capture your personal style. Craft made. It becomes you. Call, click, or visit your local Craft Made dealer today. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Welcome to Fairway Chevrolet, Pennsylvania's number one truck dealer. From the longest lasting, most dependable full-size pickup, the tough all-new Silverado to the rugged 3500 Chevy dump truck, Fairway has your truck. 
Drive home in a brand new Chevy Silverado during Fairway Chevrolet's Truck Month, starting at $19,995 or $246 per month. Hey, no one beats a Fairway deal. Make no mistake about it, Fairway Chevrolet is Pennsylvania's number one truck dealer. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library, a preschool literacy program, received a donation today from the PNC Foundation. WYLN was there as the United Way of Greater Hazleton received the $10,000 check. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a preschool literacy program that provides children with a new free age-appropriate hardcover book each month for the first five years of their lives. The program began in 1996 by Dolly Parton and over 23 million books have already been distributed nationwide. Pat Ward, the president and CEO of the United Way of Greater Hazleton, said the organization adopted the Imagination Library last July. This morning at the birthing center of Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, the PNC Foundation donated $10,000 to the United Way's program. When our United Way moved into a community impact model focusing on education, income and health as need areas in our community, we wanted to do a program that would stress the importance of literacy early on for children. And we were able to partner with the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, and this program provides an age-appropriate book to children for the first five years of their life. When we started the program last July, we set a somewhat modest goal of trying to serve 50 children over a five-year period, and now we're over 270. Regional President of PNC Bank, Peter Danchak, says the program helps thousands of children from birth to five years old. Danchak said statistics have shown that children who get off to a great start in kindergarten graduate from high school, stay out of trouble, and become productive citizens in their communities. The PNC Foundation, along with PNC Grow Up Great, is committed to helping kids from all social economic backgrounds be ready for kindergarten. We recently launched last year a 350 million 10-year commitment to help kids get ready for pre-K and kindergarten. Ward said the money donated today will help sponsor an additional 50 children in the greater Hazleton area. Since July, 270 children have already enrolled. We've become the victims of our own success initially. We wanted to sponsor 50 children over a five-year period. Now we're up over 270, and the money that we've raised is, is slowly beginning to run out. So if any individual would like to make a contribution, they can do so in care of the United Way of Greater Hazleton, 134 South Wyoming Street, Hazleton, PA, 18201 or call the office or visit our website, uh, unitedwayhazelton.org. Parents are able to enroll their children at Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with another look at our forecast, plus details on two Easter traditions baked right here in the greater Hazleton area. Stay tuned. Can I use this in my kitchen? What's your amperage? Get a multi-tester on your positive lead. If it's wired three-phase sequential and grounded right, it might work. You'll need these for the install. Shocked by customer service these days? Ambridge? Service Electric Cable Vision has the ultimate entertainment experience. Let our friendly team hook you up with a new whole home six-tuner DVR. Record up to six shows at once, then access everything from any TV in your home. Service Electric Cable Vision, it's all about you. Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. Easter is just around the corner. Let Carmen's Bakery and Deli help you with all your family gatherings. Everything is made fresh and on the premises with the best quality ingredients. From their famous nut and poppy rolls to their homemade breads, pastries, and pies. Carmen's has everything you need for your holiday table. Made to order specialty cakes and deli trays too. Catering is also available. Carmen's will do all the work for you. Don't forget to order your Easter pie made from Jenny Allegretto's Old World Recipe. Happy Easter from Carmen's Bakery and Deli. Well, 
it's fairly quiet right now. We got mostly clear skies, a few of those high, thin cirrus clouds making their way in. But other than that, not too bad. And this is the time of year when the sun gets stronger and stronger now that we're in officially spring. Here's a look at the weather map for the day. Overall, not a bad day across northeastern Pennsylvania, but it was a little bit chilly. But we did have that sunshine across our area, so we didn't have to worry about any type of precipitation. There is some precipitation just out toward the west. Question is, is any of that going to head toward the east? I'm going to let you know in just a little bit. Nothing to show you live 35 Skycast Doppler from Wilkesbury through Scranton, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Williamsport, Lewisburg at this point. All points remaining dry. 35 degrees are live. Lehigh tire conditions outside our station in Hazleton. Got a little bit of a breeze out there, so it does make it feel a little bit colder than what the actual air temperature indicates. The Almanac page for the day, 37 and 13. That's below the average high and low of 49 and 30. 81 and 9, a record high and low still stands. 702, 719, sunrise and sunset for tomorrow. 33 now, Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. 27 in Mount Pocono. 38 in Williamsport. 40 in Seals Grove. 39 degrees in State College. So next couple hours as that sun starts to set, temperatures will continue to fall quite a bit. We'll be dropping down into the 20s. 22 degrees by about 9 o'clock and down to about 20 degrees by the 11 o'clock hour. Satellite and radar, you see the increase in clouds as you head out toward the west, the leading edge of some snow out in the Ohio Valley region, but that is going to scoot toward the south. In fact, there it goes. We're really not going to have to worry about that whatsoever across our area. Tomorrow, not shaping up to be too bad of a day, but then going into Wednesday, we'll have some showers coming into play, and then maybe even a few more showers as we start going into our Thursday. Cold night tonight though, we're going to be dropping down into the teens tomorrow, uh, generally in the 30s, some areas maybe near 40 degrees, and again dropping down into the 20s as we head into tomorrow night. So a chilly day tomorrow, but it's going to be dry, high pressure up toward the uh, north, and some precipitation out toward the west. That eventually is going to get here as we go into our Thursday. And we're going to be looking at a contrast of air masses. A frontal boundary comes through, and as it does, ahead of it, fairly decent temperatures, fairly mild. Behind it, some colder air, and this is typical for March. And as we go into uh, the weekend, boy, out toward the west, they're going to be dealing with above average temperatures here in the northeast below average temperatures. Here's a look at the extended forecast and you'll be able to see for yourself that going into tomorrow we're in the 30s, 40s and in upper 50s for Thursday, but then it gets colder for the weekend. Our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers, the pick 265, the pick 3981 and the pick 4 4018. We'll have more for you coming up after the break. Athletes try talking themselves out of being hurt. I'm good, I'm good. Working past the pain because they want to keep on playing. Okay. I'm good. Coordinated Health understands. As the number one sports medicine team in the region, we get these champions back in the game with pro-level care. Yeah, I'm good. Because we make you better together. Hey kids, I'm home. Oh, it's not cold in here, it's warm in here. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this down because i got to save money for tax preparation. Honest Abe's, your tax partner, giving free advice year-round. 310 South Church Street in Hazleton. Call them at 570-861-8297. Don't stress, pay less. Life has its twists and turns. It can take many different shapes. But a good retirement plan changes with your life. And as we talk about what you're putting away and how much you'll need to retire, what was uncertain becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Time is running out to get your favorite Easter holiday treats. One local bakery is hard at work preparing orders. WYLN's Gary Perna has more from Cartman's Bakery. 
Easter is right around the corner, and many families in our area are preparing to make their traditional Easter pies. At Carmen's Bakery on Broad Street in downtown Hazleton, the Delis family have been making Easter pies for over 50 years. Marie Delis is the owner of Carbons and is the one that makes sure the pies are just right. My family's done it. I've all, I always remember we've done it. My mother did it before we even had the bakery and before we had the restaurant, and we've carried on. She always did that. She used to make her Easter pies, Good Friday mostly, and she'd make, she'd make regular pizza and she'd make the Easter pies, and she gave them all away. To make the pies, it takes a few hours, but well worth it. So what goes into these delicious pies? What actually goes into the Easter pie is ham, sausage, hard-boiled eggs, soft eggs, ricotta, cheese, and uh, pretty much that's it. According to the lease, they started making Easter pies about two weeks ago. We started these, you mean started making the pies? Yep. We started making the pies two weeks ago already. We've been making them almost uh, twice a week right now. And then when it's closer to Easter now, we'll be doing them every other day because we want them fresh. We, you know, everything has to be fresh. The bakery in Delhi does have pies on sale right now. Selling some whole pies, but mostly we sell them by the piece right now because a lot of people want to taste them first and uh, they, they have them for lunch. We've had them on takeouts and, and, and stuff like that. That's how that goes. You get a good taste. And if you're looking to order a pie from Carmen's, you're running out of time. Well, the last day we put an order in will be April 1st, and you have to get it in by then because you won't get anything else. It, it's, it's a lot of love goes into this stuff, and we like to have it fresh and ready. And if you, you can't take orders after April 1st, we can't get them done. Carmen's is open from 7 to 3.30 daily, and their number is 570-455-3711. As an Italian, I have made lots of Easter pies, and like in years past, I will be doing the same in just a few days. In Hazleton, for W Island News, I'm Gary Perna. Thanks, Gary. A local church is gearing up for its annual Easter bake sale featuring homemade items, including their famous Pasca bread. W Y L N Julie Stefanovic has these seat sales. After 40 days of fasting during the Lenten season, St. Michael's Ukrainian Church in Hazleton celebrates the resurrection of Christ by feasting. Part of the feast includes ham, kielbasa, and homemade pasca bread. The rising of the dough symbolizes Christ being risen from the dead, according to Father James Melnick. The upcoming bake sale at the church is a vital fundraising tool and is made possible by dedicated volunteers. We have a number of people, of course our ranks are getting smaller due to age and attrition, but we have a dedicated group of bakers here, men and women, who have dedicated their lives to St. Michael's Church, and this, of course, our bake sales, both at Christmas and at Easter, are very important for us financially. They help upkeep the church and maintain, uh, maintain our church financially, so we are very grateful for the hard work that these wonderful women and men, our parishioners, dedicated to St. Michael's Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, do for our church and and, and, and for the community. People come from all over the area and even stand in line for the annual Easter bake sale. Other traditional items will also be on sale. Well, in addition to the Pasca bread that everybody enjoys and purchases and they buy them for themselves and for their family and friends, we also have nut rolls, poppy seed rolls, poppy and raisin rolls, apricot rolls, all homemade. All the ingredients are homemade. The nuts are chopped, homemade, purchased, and the, the, even the poppy seed is purchased dry, and we make our own mixture for the poppy seed rolls. So everything from the dough to the filling is homemade, and from an old-fashioned uh, Baba's recipe, one of our hard-working bakers, grandmothers, uh, gave us the recipe years ago, and you know, we have that tradition of using the same ingredients and the same quality. The St. Michael's Bake Sale will take place on Tuesday, March 31st, starting at 7.30 in the morning. You can place your order by calling 570-455-5554. The church is at 72 North Oral Street in Hazleton. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. Coming up next, Eric D. Baradinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Stay tuned. Well, I'll never forget it. One minute, 
We were talking about going to the movies, and the next, Maggie could barely speak. It was a stroke. I thought I was going to lose her. But I never saw doctors work so fast. Anyway, she's coming home tomorrow. I just hope she doesn't yell at me for killing all the plants. <laughs> Every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Little League sensation Monet Davis has asked Bloomsburg University to reinstate a Husky baseball player who was dismissed over the weekend for an offensive tweet about the 13-year-old. Friday night, now former Bloomsburg pitcher Joey Castleberry tweeted, quote, Disney is making a movie about Monet Davis. What a joke. That expletive got rocked by Nevada, end quote. The derogatory comment created immediate controversy on social media. The following day, Bloomsburg Athletics issued a statement on Twitter reading, quote, Bloomsburg University is deeply saddened by what was written about Monet Davis by one of our student athletes. His words do not represent us. We take the matter very seriously, address the issue with a student athlete who has been dismissed from the team, coach, and the team. Today, in an interview with SportsCenter, Davis said, quote, everyone makes mistakes, everyone deserves a second chance, end quote. Hazleton area baseball was scheduled to play their first game of the season today, but it was postponed. The Cougars now hoping that Wednesday is the start to a state title run. These players have been dedicated. They've, they've, they've worked very, very hard. Um, it just, it's nice to get out there and play some games, but they've really worked hard improving themselves. We are loaded with talent all the way down to our freshman group. Um, you know, it, it, it is by far and away the deepest, most talented uh, team that I've coached since I've been here in my seven years. Our seniors left behind something that we, we have to go back and finish. I mean, they, they were there. They worked hard. We worked together as a team last year. We put it all together. We couldn't finish it for them, so we have to go back and finish for them. Not only for them, but for us too. One of those departed seniors the Cougars will try to finish for, Sal Biasi, now a pitcher at Penn State. Today, Biasi was named the Big Ten Co-Freshman of the Week after tallying nine strikeouts in four and a third scoreless innings. Stay tuned. Coming up, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. I'm Paul Esposito Jr. from Victoria's Candies. My family has been serving the Hazleton and surrounding area since 1934. Our secret family recipes and time-tested techniques of making fine candy have made Victoria's Candies your choice for nearly four generations. We specialize in Easter baskets and hollow-filled eggs, and we make our own chocolate molds, like the Easter Bunny, the Last Supper, the Cross, an iPod, a cell phone, or a guitar, just to name a few. Shop where the Easter Bunny shops, Victoria's Candies. Hey, get ready for a change. As we head into this upcoming weekend, a big dip in the jet stream. That's going to allow us to see colder temperatures below average. The heat will be out toward the west. But right now, temperatures, higher elevations in the 20s. Elsewhere, temperatures holding in the 30s to near 40 degrees. And as that sun sets, you know what? It, temperatures still this time of year fall quite quickly. Mostly clear skies falling into the 20s, 22 by 9, and about 20 degrees as we head toward the 11 o'clock hour. Here's a look at the extended forecast. And and it calls for the chance of some rain in it as we go into the next couple of days going into our uh, Wednesday some showers around maybe some more showers for Thursday look at that many areas will be near 60 maybe in the lower 60s but then after that it gets colder for Friday and Saturday very typical for March that's what we're getting all right well it was actually good to see the grass though Let's just oh yeah that. always you see grass sight. It is. I'll yeah, take it. Absolutely. Grass, the snow's melting. I hope there's no more snow, although it's I'm oh, we've had say snow it. in Don't April. even <laughs> We've had snow for Easter. Yeah. I know. Right? Easter we, we, we just the were snow. trying to be, you know, optimistic and say we, we saw grass. Trip, and, 
Yeah, thou shalt not tell a lie. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>